Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about prayers, and this time, a prayer that serves as a series of petitions to Jesus, the Anima Christi. Soul of Christ, make me holy. We appeal to the one who has the holiest of all souls for holiness, calling him by his title as the Messiah, Christ. Body of Christ, be my salvation. The body of Christ was sacrificed in reparation for our sins, but each of us still needs to accept that gift by our own choices. By asking Jesus to be our salvation, we ask him for more help in accomplishing our end of this. This is also a reference to the Eucharist, the body of Christ, without which, according to Jesus in John chapter 6, we have no life within us. Blood of Christ, let me drink your wine. In addition to referring to the Eucharist again, this may also refer to Matthew 20:22, 20, in which Jesus uses the terminology of a cup to indicate the suffering that he was to undergo, or to his words at the Last Supper, where he talks about drinking again only once the kingdom has come. Wine, in this sense, could mean suffering and or victory. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if it meant both, since, as we see in the life of Jesus, victory over death is only gained through suffering. Water flowing from the side of Christ, wash me clean. At the crucifixion, blood and water flowed out of the side of Jesus when he was stabbed. This is used symbolically in this prayer to indicate how the suffering of Jesus can make us clean of sin. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. Once again, the suffering of Jesus can give us not only the actual grace to overcome our own struggles, but to some, it may even serve to inspire them, since our suffering is easier to bear than the suffering of Jesus. Kind Jesus, hear my prayer. Hide me within your wounds and keep me close to you. Another symbolic image. We ask Jesus to preserve us inside of him, in the one place where sin can't touch us, in a way that his suffering has made possible. Defend me from the evil enemy. We ask for the help of God in protecting us from those who try to ensnare us in evil, and especially the chief evildoer of them all, Satan. And call me at the hour of my death to the fellowship of your saints. We also ask Jesus to reach out to us at our death, so that we'll be able to turn to him and join him in heaven. That I might sing your praise with them for all eternity. Amen. We acknowledge that heaven is eternal, and that the best thing that we can do is to thank and praise God for his greatness and his wonderful gifts. This is especially so in heaven, where God's greatness is far more obvious and his gifts far more wonderful. Next time, what kind of prayer can we say if we know we've sinned? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.